Coming up this morning on Daybreak, as Election Day gets closer, we'll take a look at the ways you can vote here in Missouri. And we have an update on how COVID-19 is impacting nursing homes in Greene County. Also, what a Missouri teacher is sacrificing all in an effort to help one of her students. Nigel McDonald has that story for you and more coming up this morning for you on Daybreak. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Today is Thursday, August 20th. I'm Jennifer Abreu. And I'm Joe Moreno. We have a lot to go through on this Thursday morning, but it's 6 a.m. That sun is on the way up. Meteorologist Elisa Rafa is here with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. And it's looking very pretty. We've got some uh, gorgeous sunrise behind me. Sorry. Yeah, was that isn't it pretty? It that is. Orange? Look at that orange behind you. It is so pretty. And getting warmer too, right? As we get closer to the to the weekend. Yeah, starting today, really, you'll find temperatures warmer today than they were all week, and then that will be the case again tomorrow. So starting out again with a very pretty sunrise, lots of bright yellows and oranges out there. It is 59 degrees in Springfield, um, with these dew points very comfortable still in the middle 50s. It is clear and dry to start. Um, so clean sweeps on satellite and radar. You've got temperatures at 57 degrees in Branson. A pair of fives in Harrison and a pair of fives also in Mountain Grove with these dew points in the middle 50s. So it is still pretty comfortable out there this morning. It is green conditions on the muggy meter map. Well, feeling pretty good. We'll have some uh, dry roads out there today. Not expecting any weather hazards to slow you down at all. We'll pack lots of sunshine out there. Temperatures in the middle and upper 80s. Again, a little bit warmer than they were yesterday, uh, but we'll keep that humidity pretty low even at the pool. Well, another cooler night tonight. Night. The sunny stretch continues and it starts to turn hotter and muggier. Details on that coming up in 10 minutes. All right, Elisa, thank you. You have three options when it comes to voting in the November elections. In-person absentee voting ahead of Election Day, mail-in voting, and in-person on Election Day. Greene County Clerk Shane Scholler says if more people choose the in-person absentee or mail-in voting options, lines on Election Day may be shorter. He wants to make sure people get to cast their ballot on Election Day in a timely manner. Scholler says because of the nature of general elections, he expects more turnout than the August primary. Scholler says even though there's concern around the nation about the U.S. Postal Service getting mail-in ballots in on time, the earlier you request your ballot and send it back, the better. The absentee voting period begins September 22nd. So if you plan to vote in person absentee or by mail, Scholler says you want to get that request in now. We want for the voter what's the best option for that voter. Whether it's the absentee option, it's the mail-in voting option, it's the in-person absentee voting option, and then of course, you know, election day. That's when we're going to see the bulk of our voters. We realize that. But if we can get more voters that can um, take advantage of those mail-in or absentee voting options, we think that's going to do a great service for voters on Election Day. Keep those lines at a very manageable um, distance. Missouri's Secretary of State tells Color 10 he expects results on election night may be delayed because of the increased volume in mail-in ballots because of the protocol the state has to count and check them. Also for you, five more people have died due to complications from COVID-19 in Greene County. These five people were all associated with long-term care facilities, and now 22 total deaths have come from our county, 11 this month. Taking a look at the age of these people, one was a man in his 70s, two were men in their 80s, and one was a woman in her 70s, all of which had underlying health conditions. No official word yet if they were at the same long term care facility. The health department says they've been working with the state to assist those types of places with testing and PPE. The facilities are required to report positives within 24 hours so that guidance can be given on isolation or quarantine. Earlier this week at the Springfield City Council lunch, Clay Goddard says hot spots for the virus shouldn't distract people from being healthy. We continue to see a lot of challenges in institutional settings like uh, the uh, jail and long-term care facilities but we can't let those issues detract us from what we need to be doing as individuals as citizens COVID-19 is not over the mask is not a silver bullet but it's one part of a very thoughtful way of living that we're going to have to embrace as a community 
Taney County reported three new COVID deaths yesterday. Those were people in nursing homes as well. Christian County had one new death, a male in his 60s with underlying conditions. News from around the Ozarks. A Mansfield teacher hopes to show her students kindness still exists. Caller 10's Naja McDonald met with a woman and joins us now live in the studio to tell us how this teacher is changing lives. Naja, good morning. Yeah, Jen, good morning. As we know, teachers develop bond with their students, but Misty Bird has taken that bond one step further with the Crony family. Take a look. I love my students. Misty Bird teaches art at Wilder Elementary. I have them from kindergarten on. Allowing Bird to form unique bonds. I get to watch them come in and be really little and grow. Like she has with the cronies. Well, I've had Fisher, who's amazing since kindergarten. Which made making the decision to help Fisher's mom, who was in need of a kidney, a no-brainer. I don't think I even mentioned it to my family until I found out it was a match. Bird's first phone call was to the cronies. My son lit off fireworks in the yard when we found out that Misty was a match. All right, this is going to happen, and I'm not going to have to wait years for it to happen. Crony says she was already in stage five renal failure. I didn't know that it, you know, meant that I would be starting dialysis so soon. I was scared that I wouldn't be here for my kids or that doing dialysis and quitting my job that, you know, I wasn't going to be able to participate. She says she can never thank Bird enough. I just, I was so thankful that she would even go and do the testing, um, let alone that she was a match and willing to go forward and, and give to me. The biggest reason I'm doing this and talking about it is I want my students to know that you know, there's kindness out there. There's ways to be good. You don't have to donate an organ. You know, you don't have to go that big, but you can show kindness by helping a friend who feels lonely or um, being more patient and practice intolerance when they're different. Well, both Bird and Crony encourage people to look into becoming a donor. They say there are hundreds of thousands of people on the list who never get a call. For more information on that, you can visit our website at ozarksfirst.com. Thank you, Nija. We're starting out with some dry roads on our Color 10 Live drives this morning. It is another cool and pleasant start with a temperature at 59 degrees right now in Springfield. Details on it trending hotter and muggier coming up next. 